So I'm just back from another trip to Europe, this time to see the Aero Show at Friedrichshafen, and that leads me to a curious observation. It seems to be an article of faith in the U.S. that regulation stifles innovation. Regulation bad, free market good. Well, it may be true, but someone forgot to tell it to the nice people in Europe who have regulations on everything from shoelaces to bathroom fixtures, but you find innovation everywhere. Diamond Aircraft CEO Christian Dries told us that as a regulatory agency, he thinks the FAA is as close to heaven as he can imagine. And that left me wondering what his idea of hell is. And this is a guy, by the way, who has invested about 60 million bucks in a new factory to make diesel engines. He's about to fly a light aircraft fly-by-wire system. And he introduced two new airplanes at Aero, both diesels, both twins. Elsewhere in Europe, Rotax announced its new 912 IS engine, and Pipistrel unveiled the Pantera, which turned out to be the hit of the show. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic at Sun and Fun last month, we saw a couple of new iPad apps. I can hardly stand the excitement. If developments like these come from overregulation, I'd say let's have more of it. Okay, it's really not that simple, but it did lead me to ask a lot of Germans, Austrians, Brits, and Italians, what's going on in Europe? Europe seems to thrive while the U.S. withers. Nobody had any simple answers or any answers at all. But I have one theory, and it occurred to me when Cirrus pointedly announced its jet plans in Europe, not in the U.S. Maybe it's a scourge of the MBAs. Over the past decade, so many of these guys have been flushed out of U.S. business schools that it was all but inevitable they'd cook up stuff like securitized mortgages with 20% return rates. These things wreck the world economy, and although the luster is gone, the return expectations haven't been reset. American capital expects big returns and fast money. In Europe, it may be a little different. Well, it must be different, because Diamond is investing now for market swings they see happening 10 years or more from now. Either that or it's just a fluke. Maybe by next arrow, Europe will dry up and the U.S. will be hot again. I'm not so sure. To me, it feels like everything is shifting east towards Asia, and that trend is passing right through Europe. I don't know if American business is going to get interested in investing in American aircraft manufacturing or not, but if it is, it better get busy pretty soon. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.